Hey there, this is Imran and today we are going to fix this very weird issue. So since you are here, you probably know the issue. You are able to access rest of the websites, your internet is working just fine. And there is this one particular website that you cannot access and you, are sure, and you have made sure that the uh, website is functional and is up. up. Okay. So I just came across this issue a couple of days back. I mean, I was not able to access my own websites when everyone else could. So I found it quite irritating, and so I thought of sharing it with you. And I think I could, I should talk quite less. Okay, so coming to the, I'm just going to share a couple of tricks with you, and the chances are that um, with these tricks, 99.9 percent of people will be able to fix this issue. So here you go. The very first trick and probably the simplest one is just go to the command prompt and type ipconfig ip forward slash and flush dns. It's ipconfig forward slash flush dns. There's no space and hit enter. That is it. You just flushed your dns. The second trick that I'm going to tell you is. Um, press Win plus R on your keyboard. You will get this window and just type percent caps T E M P percent and just hit enter and you'll just get to the folder get to this folder. Actually I deleted some of my temporary files recently. So just anyway, right click uh, I'm control A, select all of them. Control A, select all of them, right click on them and delete. Some of them will get deleted and in some of them you will get this warning uh, window. Just uh, hit uh, tick mark this, do this for all current items and hit skip. That is all you need to do. And done. This is our second trip trick and um, it's quite likely that you'll be uh, you have this fish issue already fixed and if not you can just follow the uh, next two tricks okay so if you were trying then probably you have already done this clearing the browser cache and cookies so I'm on Windows uh, I'm on Chrome Google Chrome so I'll just go to the settings scroll down go to show advanced settings and then scroll down 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 and here you have the option of clear browsing data and by default these 4 plus 1 option or option these options are ticked and sit on clear browsing it will take a couple of seconds to clear the browsing data and will delete the uh, cache and cookies where you are 70 percent of the problem is solved and even if in, uh, by now you couldn't access it then here's the golden bullet uh, uh, the fourth trick is you just go to the um, in open network and sharing center right click on your wi-fi okay so it's freeze come on it's quite annoying when i'm making the tutorial then it gets freezed don't worry, it won't take much longer. Okay, come on now. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so I just I just got this Wi-Fi status window. I click on properties, and I'll get this another window now. Yeah, I got it. And scroll down his Internet Protocol version four option. Select it and then go to properties. And here you have the DNS. If you have this obtained DNS server address automatically selected, you'll just need to change it to use the following DNS server addresses. And um, you'll need to use the following values. In case you cannot uh, see them on the screen, you can either just uh, pause the video and go for the higher quality option of the video. And otherwise, I'm just going to speak it out for you. So the preferred DNS server address is 208.67.222.222. You will not need to add this dot on your own. You will just need to type 208, then 67, then 222, and then again 222. And in the alternate address so DNS server, the first 
two values are same which means 208.67 and then in the next two values you have 220.220 so that is it you have changed the DNS server address and hit ok close Wi-Fi state is closed and there is 99.9% percent .9 probability that you have fixed your issue now and let me know if it helped if it did don't forget to subscribe to the channel stay tuned thanks for listening bye bye